outside walking. It is hot, but we are walking. It's a nice breeze though. It's better, way better than what it was when I was here last time. 102, 104. So I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what we see. That's a pretty gate. I think they're finna start building here. They're making bricks down there. Then you got a lot of people just kind of out and about hanging out near their houses and things like that. My mom just admiring how they create, how they build things. But, yep, here come some goats. They're sheeples, sheeples. Excuse me, there are some sheep walking down the street. Hmm? My honey and my baby. Yeah. I'm coming, baby, you coming. He showed mommy. Yeah. My mom with her head tied for some reason, like it's not hot out here. Dancing. Tell me about that one in a minute. I'm out here looking like the obvious tourists. Can't tell me nothing. Oh, look at the turkeys, mom. Gobble, gobble. The turkeys walking right there. All right, y'all. So I'm going to pick up my, my first official since we've been here vlog <laughs> right now because you guys, we just experienced our first blackout and I was not happy about it. It was hot. Um, and it wasn't everywhere because my husband isn't here right now. And where he was or where he is, where he is, it's the, the lights are still on. So we just sat in here for like 15, 20 minutes in the heat. In Africa, heat is different. I, I know people say that when they go like, oh, Alaska cold is different. Africa heat is different, okay? It hits different. So we just sat in here in the dark and we had the fans and stuff on before that. So it stayed a little bit cool, but it started to get hot real fast because these places are made of concrete. So we're waiting on my husband now. It's just as hot. I didn't miss those blackouts. It's so hot. It is. I did not miss the blackouts. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Yep. A lot of things I miss about being over here, the blackouts is not one of them. It's This is one of those countries where it's like, uh, it's so high people consume a lot of energy all the time. And they don't have a lot to just kick out like that. So they'll do like rolling blackouts every so often when they just turn everything off. Um, no warning, nothing, no, no times. Just everybody's power just shuts off at some point randomly. Um, it was the same thing with the water. The water would just shut off. The last time we were here and they had to collect water for us to use the water later get down it's on your bottom so our water pressure was really low earlier so i'm hoping it comes back in full force here pretty soon waiting on my husband so we can get some food because we have not eaten like i don't have the same appetite here for some reason i'm not hungry all the time i just i don't know i just haven't been eating the same way so uh, we're gonna get some food because we haven't really eaten today to my recollection me and my mom have been snacking most of the day we're waiting for the vehicle that we're supposed to be getting that didn't come when it was supposed to. So it's been here this morning and my husband only has the moped. So we could all hill in there. So we've been just sitting around the house and he just got the vehicle and it's night now. It's literally seven, almost eight o'clock at night and he's just not getting the vehicle. So I'm like, it's cool. I guess we can move around tomorrow. We're gonna go out of the house for a minute now and go get something to eat and then uh, come back later on. This is the second day we hadn't really moved. We didn't move at all yesterday. This morning we got out and we walked a little while. I mean, it was nice. Um, I think there's gonna be a clip of that in here, either before this or after this. Uh, we're just kind of walking around in this neighborhood that we're in or in this little area of town that we're in. Luckily, we have like a guy that sits at the door. We have a security guy that comes every day. And so he's sitting out there right now. And I was gonna go out there and ask him what was going on because it was dark. He was listening to the radio when I walked out there. Now there's a language barrier because I still don't speak really good French and a lot of them speak native languages here as well as French. So it really just depends on who you run into. If you can kind of understand them, they can kind of understand you. Most of them are taught written English in school so they can read English, they can write English, they just can't speak it. Luckily I have a cell phone. My husband called me to tell me that he's on his way. He's just stuck in traffic. So yeah, I guess I'll pick back up later. It's okay. It's okay. Cousin, they chasing the chicken. Kai got scared. Kai's like, I'm not used to this life. <laughs> the minute it started bucking, Kai was done. I love the chickens just out here chilling. Chickens hanging out. For the moment, we are outside just hanging out with his family at his family home. Um, this is where I stayed last time I was here. Just sit outside and it's cool. 
at certain times of the day. Really good time. Mm. They're just all hanging out out here. My husband being a bad mm. uncle, giving all the kids sweets, and then he gonna Come leave. On. Cause he petty. Okay, go play with your cousin. Petty, petty dad, petty uncle out here. He came and gave all the kids cookies. He bought all the kids cookies, and then he just gonna leave. I keep following him. And his sister has a business. That's one of her bags right there, you guys. I'll talk to you more about it later. Uh, and I'll link it on Facebook as well so you guys can order things from her if you'd like. But she kind of makes bags and jewelry and all types of stuff. But this is one of the bags and this thing is heavy. I'm not kidding. Kaki kind of take it from me, but it's really nice. That's my mom sitting up here with this thing on her head. Then I was vlogging and you walked up here and started talking to me. I Apparently he's making seasoning. Okay, yeah, I'm 
Things. Y'all, it's hot. The professional had to take over because the guys were doing a terrible job. Now we look like a powder. When they were doing it, it still looked like regular stuff mixed in one bowl. Done. I found somebody he like. He don't like a lot of folks, but he like him. Pigeon. 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 A few moments later. They literally like drowned it. I thought it was gonna be like a little bit on top of it. But you can barely see the steak. Yeah, taste it. Make sure it's gonna be okay though. But here's dinner. All right, you guys. So this one gonna close this vlog out for today. Um, we are back home. We ate, and now we're kind of showering and laying down, trying to cool off. My little one and I are covered in heat bumps. Just so you guys know, when they say it hit different, the heat hit different or the cold hit different, depending on where you go, they're not kidding, okay? We are too close to play right now. <laughs> and so over here, we turn red and we get bumpy, you know, and not so much tan, we just get red and bumpy. So my little one's covered in heat bumps and so am I. So we're gonna try to lay down and cool off for a little while um, before we go to sleep tonight. I'm gonna go on here and say hi again, let you guys know that I will be here, like I said, for about a month. And if you want to see something, let me know. Uh, make sure to do videos for you guys of the things you may want to see while we're over here in Africa. Thank you all again so much for watching. If you have not already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Every change.